Hey guys, welcome back to Horns Eye Mountain Biking. If you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a great time to let me know you're out there so I can keep growing this thing. Can't do it. Nothing doing, huh? Okay. I'm all in through. No, go ahead, take your time. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my two cents on Kush Core. Um, I'm gonna tell you um, what my experience has been with them. I, I've ridden them for, for a few months now. Probably put about 50,000 feet worth of worth of descent um, on these on these uh, on these Kush Cores, and um, and I'll give you my two cents about Kush Core. Um, I will also teach you a secret technique. Um, for installing these on your wheel and hopefully it will get rid of the the headache and the nightmare and um, all of the frustration that, that you that maybe is keeping you from buying this product because um, I if for you guys that are aggressive riders out there and, and like riding riding the enduro lines and, and, and getting getting down with it um, you guys need these yeah, every one of you guys you will you will want these what are you doing all right She's just gonna be in the way, I guess. All right, so let's go over your um, let's go over your parts list. Um, obviously, you're gonna need some Kush cores. Here, it looks about like this. Yeah, there you go. Um, so let's get to uh, let's get to the parts. Um, you are gonna need a couple of tire levers. Ooh, shiny. Tire sealant. You're gonna need a tape measure. Um, this is a 16 footer, two inch piece of PVC pipe, 24 inch wooden dowel rod an old toothbrush, not your current toothbrush, an old toothbrush. You will also need a paper towel core insert. Oh no. You will also need um, an ice scraper, a heavy duty floor jack um, to, to get the, what? You're calling me out now? Okay, I guess you don't need any of that stuff, man. Get a couple of good tire levers. I've got some little bitty dinky ones. I would get some heavier duty ones if I were you. Um, tire sealant, two hands, and maybe a dog. I don't know. Let's get to it. Um, start off with your wheel. They have a valve stem that comes with their um, with their setup. I already have installed mine. It's no different than a Presto valve. I'm kind of. Th this isn't really a how-to video as much as it is. Here's a little. Here's a little tip to getting these things installed. I like to um, install these with the um, uh, with one of these channels near where your valve stem is. Um, and I think that just kind of helps a little bit in getting, oops, sorry. I think that helps a little bit in getting the, um, uh, getting the, uh, getting the air into the tire when it comes time. Because when, when you button all this stuff up, it's gonna be snug. So check this out. There's our wheel, nice and installed. All right, so let's get this off of here and um, uh, get on with this little, uh, with this little tip and this little, uh, the secret technique, right? Let's do, I have an idea, hold on. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm gonna need safety glasses for this. <laughs> All right, hold on. Look at that, we got ourselves a visual aid. How about that? There we go. Just imagine, imagine that your tire is, is all the way around there and, and just go with me on this, okay? Um, here's the secret technique, okay? Um, two things. First off, patience. Um, trust me on this one, man. Get you a beer, hang out, turn some music on. Um, don't be doing this in your garage on a 102 degree day in, in the summertime, hoping that this goes right. You're gonna, you're gonna need a little bit of patience with this. Um, here's the other part of the tip. <clears throat> so, when you're working the, the the other side, at this point, this entire bead will be um, will be off off of the bike. You're going to start working it in there, and you'll, you're f you're first going to notice that it it works out pretty easily. Because check this out. This is the this is what you want to be doing with your hands. Imagine the tire is over top of this. Um, what you want to be doing with your hands is pulling this thing back and using your fingers and shoving. That the sidewall of your tire is far down into the well of your tire, or the well of your rim, as you possibly can, and that technique is going to look a little bit like this. Make sure it first starts going in there. You'll go in there, and you'll start working your way around. 
okay? And at first, you'll go, okay, cool. It's in there, I'm ready to go. And you're gonna work your way around and you're not even gonna get close to, to being able to be the tire. And then, this is where everyone makes their mistake. They go, they go right to the tire levers, right? It makes perfect sense. I can't get the tire on here. I'm gonna go to the tire lever, bring out, the, bring out some leverage and some metal. But that's where you don't wanna do. Leave the tire levers alone. Go right back to where you started. Do this again. Pull the, pull the cush core back. Try to push, push down with your fingers. Get that in there. Go through it all the way around. And what you're trying to do, what you're trying to do is the further that you can shove your side, your, your bead of your tire down into that well, think about it this way. Look at the wheel of your tire, or the, the, the bed of your tire. If you're if, you're, if the bead of your tire is right there, um, that's, that diameter is significantly bigger than way down here. I know it doesn't look like much right here, we're looking at a few millimeters, but we're, we're talking about a, a radial equation that probably smart people could actually tell me the difference in diameter on. The radius down here is gonna be a little bit smaller than what it is up here. And that little bit of difference is all we need to get that tire beaded on there without having to spend all day with tire levers hating life. So let's get to it for real. First side's on. All right, I'm gonna stop us right here. Um, I'm so confident that this is gonna work um, that I'm gonna make you guys a bet. I bet you guys that I can get this tire mounted on here at Cush Core and only use one of my two tire levers. And I'm so confident that that's gonna happen, I'm gonna make you a bet. If I have to use the second tire lever, I'm gonna give away this awesome, but kind of dirty and greasy right now, I'll clean it up for you. Um, I'm gonna give away this custom headset cap from Custom Caps black it's got a little sasquatch on it I'll try to slip in some uh, I'll try to slip in some some tight b-roll of this um, but if I end up having to use the second tire lever I'm gonna give this to one of you guys um, <laughs> we'll get to that later mr. big shot I'm gonna talk about how great I am putting cush core on Here's my valve stem there it is valve stem up top I have one of these channels right here let's get in here start putting this thing together which means I can't use. Ah, there we go. Cool. All right, that's it. All right, so now the patience and the technique. Let's get started with the valve stem and see where it takes us. And this is. Right here, we're still using about the same technique that you would if you were, you know, just putting your tire on. All right, so I am about, I have from here to here on the tire that is not beaded and it's starting, it's starting to get tight. And it's starting to get tight on my fingers. So rather than working right here and, and really giving it everything I got, I'm gonna go right back over here. Now I'm gonna start pushing that, pushing that bead down. Nice and simple. Take your time. Pull back, pull back with the wrist, push down with the fingers. Back with the wrist, down with the fingers. All the way around the tire. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it starts getting tight, leave it. Go back over here. Do it again, man. Back over here. Pull back, push down. Pull back, push down. Same thing. Taking your time. Nice and patient. Now look, without even, without even doing anything, no tire levers at, at all, we are now down to that much. So I've, I've gained a couple inches on either side. And Go. a little bit more there a little bit more now go right back over here do it again because as you're monkeying with this you'll pull this out so just go right back to it work hands on either side if you want to 
I like to go two hands because then I can really pull back and stuff it down in there. You have to kind of watch as you're working your way around here um, as you work your way around here sometimes it can it can pull your beat down on the other side so just keep an eye on it all right guys home stretch all right here we are that's all I have left. I haven't even picked up a tire lever yet. Let's see what we can do. What do you think is going to happen, Malka? You think I'm going to have to give away my favorite headset cap? Man, I hope not. I don't know, guys. Like that. So I used one tire lever for one little pull, and that's all I need. So again, it's patience, and it's just that technique. Um, if I, as soon as that got tight, if I picked up the tire levers and went at it, this would be another one of those videos where I spend three hours comically messing around. Oh, dang. <laughs> you will also want to make sure that you uh, add your sealant. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to unbeat that enough so I can get it back in by hand. Um, Add some sealant, sealant of your choice. All right, pop that bead back on. Boom, uh, did that get on you guys? But there you go, man, that's it. Air it up. Oh, I never really got to you guys about the story. Yeah, well, let me tell you a couple of stories about about, um, about my, my experiences with with, uh, with Kushpur. Um, first, let me tell you an experience um, that I had before Kushpur. Um, so I, I'm out in Colorado, and I'm riding behind my buddy Theron. He has Kush Core installed on his bike. I did not. I did not at the time have Kush Core installed on my bike. I, I was I was right behind him. We come up and over this rock. There's about a four foot drop on the back side of this drop to a landing. No big deal. Technique same everything. Um, our landing, however, that we're coming onto is is obviously tilted down a little bit. It's also off camber just a little bit. Not a ton. Just a little bit. So we come up. We come up onto this rock. He launches the rock, I launch the rock the same way. He lands, boom, keeps going. I land and I do one of these grrr, kind of a thing like this. The bike kind of slips out, I unclip on this side, I do a quick a quick save, and then I'm back in the game. He's now 30 feet ahead of me though, because of my little wobble back there. So when I hit that, that off-camera landing, my tire wallowed and caused, caused me to, to kind, of, kind of slide out a little bit. Um, Kushkor does an amazing job of, of preventing that from happening. Um, that entire trip when I was out there, that I, we had ridden probably like four or five different trails and I watched my buddies, I was right there behind them and I was watching their bikes do things that my bike could not do. You know, we would come into a corner and it would be a, a, just a super, super burly rocky corner and they would just throw the bike into the corner and the bike would never get wobbly, it would never lose traction, it would never get squirrely. And I would be back there with both of my hands full of just trying to keep my bike under control, trying to take these same lines that these guys are doing, and I'm still watching them pull away from me. So I know something is going on. I could feel the tires giving away. I could feel, I could feel wallowing happening. So, so for me, um, okay, cool, some pitch flat protection, great. It's not a big problem for me. Um, I, 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 I could take it or leave. I could take or leave those those benefits. The cornering. Um, oh my gosh, the, the, the ability to, to throw that bike into a corner, and I, like I said, I'm, I'm a big guy, I'm 250 pounds, man. Um, for me, uh, for me, this is, a, this, this is a major, major game changer, because I'm not, I'm not wallowing tires anymore. I'm not rolling tires off the side of rims anymore. Um, and, and on top of that, just having the ability to, to dive into a rock garden and, and just almost not care like I, I really just don't even I, I mean I process the rocks you know I'm, I'm, I'm always still looking for that that smooth line I, I always want that smooth line um, but anymore I'm, I'm looking another 10 feet ahead because I, I don't need to spend as much time 
analyzing my my line through rocky sections as as I did you know but before Kushcore when I had to kind of worry about tire tire slashes and and whatnot um, I, I, I the cornering and and the, the ability to just smash through rocky stuff and and choose lines that you've never chosen before man that's it that was well worth 150 bucks for me um, so there you guys have it um, you know what screw it man I'm giving you guys where is it I'm giving you guys this headset I'm, I'm or this headset cap um, I, I feel like giving this away to you guys thank you guys so much for watching the videos by the way and thank you guys so much for subscribing let me know um, would, would Kush Core improve your riding? And if so, well, what do you think? What do you think it would do for your riding? Would it help you in the corners? Would it help you in jumps? Would it help you in in the rocky sections? Um, tell me, tell me why it is that you would like to have Kush Core on your bike. Uh, we'll select a comment, and you'll get this sweet headset cap from Custom Caps. Um, it's the black one. It's got a little Sasquatch on it. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. All right, man, I'm giving it away. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next ride.